families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Hiya, mummy! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing! How about the Panda Twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure! Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Ah, oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa loves families. Everyone loves families. Long train journey. Peppa and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Peppa, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I 
need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds! <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honoured to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the trying journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> America. Peppa and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! When a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh! Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world. So we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket! <gasps> Does that mean...? Yes, it means we're going to America! America! Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America. I think. Does anyone know where it is? 
I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming into land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. <laughs> wow! The buildings are so tall! First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow! wow. Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! Oh. We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy! There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look! There's Super Potato! Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Hash Brown, Vegetables in Space! That's a movie we're going to be in! Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood! Yes. Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels! Ooh. Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? A meat hash brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. Georgie's new clothes. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George, you are all muddy. <laughs> Pepper, George. <laughs> George, my goodness, what a muddy little piggy. <laughs> You'll need a bath. And we'll need to wash your clothes. Oh. <laughs> George is washed in the bath. George's clothes are washed in the washing machine. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. George's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> I can see your bottom, George. <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <coughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <coughs> now hold your arms out. 
George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No. But I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. Hmm, <laughs> I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm, too much colour. What about this then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm. What about this then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. What do you think, George? <laughs> Away! <laughs> George likes his new clothes. <laughs> Oh, so George didn't get any new clothes then. These are his new clothes, Daddy Pig. The same as before, but no holes. <laughs> ho, ho, I see. Can we play in the garden now, Mummy? Yes, let's all play in the garden. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, a muddy puddle. Let's jump in it. <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash With a big splash here and a big splash there Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash Jumping up and down me muddy puddles Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash oh. <laughs> George, you've got your new clothes all muddy again Oh You're one to talk, Pepper. Look at your clothes <laughs> And you seem to be a little muddy too, Daddy Pig. And you, Mummy Pig. Oh, well, it's only mud. It'll come off in the wash. If we're going to get washed anyway, let's get even more muddy. Yes! <laughs> Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love getting muddy. Everyone loves getting muddy. <laughs> the Noisy Night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Peppa and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no. <coughs> we found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Why is Auntie Pig playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. 
The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. <laughs> The light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Is everybody all right down there? I heard the alarm. Yes, thank you. All right. Cheerio. Oh, all that loud noise has sent baby Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> the electric car. Peppa and George are in their bedroom. Zoom, zoom. Car! George is playing with his toy car. <laughs> What is it, George? Car, car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. Hooray! Daddy's home! <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No, I'm just trying it out. It looks fun. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look! The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow! This car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? Ho, oh, oh, ho, it's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow! I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. 
Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car. <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa, what in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving licence. Oh! So, Roger, do you have a driving licence? Oh, of course. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye! Bye. Drive safely! Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far, knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh, where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Pepper. You too. Pepper loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. Playgroup star. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> there. Finished. Pepper, what a wonderful place. You have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a playgroup star. Wow. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy! Got a playgroup star. That's fantastic, Pepper. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madam Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago, I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No, I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Pepper, and they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Pepper. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well, I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Peppa, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy, Mr Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? 
because I love to make things, and I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grr. It's very good, Daddy. <coughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <coughs> it's not fair, Peppa. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. <coughs> he drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Peppa, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madam Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, oh, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I've never been so proud. <laughs> daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> the Blackberry Bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Aye, aye, aye Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. And she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred.
hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black. Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Champion Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record. Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming... I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No! Yes, Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow! No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump! That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Peppa. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes! OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow! Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master! Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. <laughs> it is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots? To be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump. Today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady. Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. 
Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. They have made a bit of a mess. <laughs> My goodness, what a mess. Oh, sometimes, Peppa, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm, why do children get told off? Grown-ups don't get told off. Ho, ho, ho. That's one of the very few good things about being a grown-up. There. Lovely and tidy. Right. I'm off to the shops. Can George and me come too? OK. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa, why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh! What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh! There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese! See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. Daddy, is a parking ticket like being told off? Uh, yes, Peppa. It's like being told off. Mummy, Mummy, Daddy got a ticket. That's nice. What did he get a ticket for? The cinema or the circus or... I got a parking ticket. Oh, well, hopefully it was just a mistake. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look! It's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine, nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> And even 
Even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> country. Pepper and George are in America, on their way to Hollywood. Look at that view. It's like the moon. Are we on the moon, Mummy? <laughs> no, Pepper. We might be lost, but we can't be that lost. Can we, Daddy Pig? Uh... <laughs> Here is Mr Buffalo. He is digging up the road. Excuse me, but is this Hollywood? No, this is the desert. Oh. Has it always been the desert? Well, a long time ago, it was actually the sea. The sea? Yeah. If you look in the sand, there are seashells. Look, George. This was the seaside. <laughs> but now it's desert for miles and miles and miles. So which way is Hollywood, please? That way. Thank, Thank you. you. The desert is going on for miles and miles and miles and Are miles. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> no, not yet, Pepper. America is a very big country. It feels like we could go on forever. Stop! It's Mr Buffalo again. I'm not Mr Buffalo. I'm Mr Bison. Ah. Oh. Are you digging up the road? No, miss. This here is a canyon. Ooh, that's a big hole. Yes, it is. 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, one mile deep. Wow, and you dug that hole all by yourself. No, sir, I did not dig it. That canyon was carved out by a river a long time ago. Ooh. If y'all want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot of us about. Would you like a tour of the canyon? Yes, yes please. please. Then hop in. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is. These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any dinosaurs now, but many wonderful animals live in the canyon. <whistles> There's an eagle! <whistles> wow. wow! The next part of the tour is by boat. Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience. What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! What do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! Okay. Just watch out for the rapids! Whoa! Oh, it's like a fairground ride! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best fun ever! Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Wow! Just think, we might be the first to ever enter these caves. Postcards, drinks, snacks. Huh? Welcome to the Canyon Caves. Come and have a look. These were homes for the people who lived here a long time ago. They drew pictures of all the animals that lived here. Look, there's the eagle. Ooh! And that is the end of the tour. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. My pleasure. Where are you off to now? We're going to Hollywood to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Wow, I would love to be in a movie with Hash Brown. You can come too if you like. Oh, well, that's very kind, but I'm so busy here. You have a great time in Hollywood. We will. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Enjoy Hollywood. Pepper and her family are on their way to Hollywood. Today, Pepper and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day! Perfect for walking! <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go... That way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top?
top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. Oh, I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <coughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. <gasps> Nearly there, George! It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? Oh, I don't know, Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone far. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you? Roll, Daddy. I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. George's new dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> George is playing with his favourite toy, Mr Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is made of plastic. It is almost impossible to break him. <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur in the bath. <laughs> At night time, George always takes Mr. Dinosaur to bed with him. Dinosaur! George! Mr. Dinosaur is broken! Oh! Mr. Dinosaur does not have a tail anymore. <laughs> Poor George! You have had Mr. Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. 
Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr Fox's shop. Mr Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. <sighs> It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar, Dino Roar, Dino Roar has woken me up! Dino Maybe Dino Roar should sleep Dino Roar somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> it doesn't work. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now, Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh! Daddy Pig has mended Mr. Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh! I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr! <laughs> dinosaur! Dinosaur! Hello, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> 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 Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. Baby Alexander. Pepper and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Pepper. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure baby Alexander won't be that noisy. What's that sound? Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's baby Alexander. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Auntie Pig. You remember baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yeah! <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. Whee! I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Peppa 
is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Pepper's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Pepper. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>